الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله it's important to not let our our nafs our desires our love unrestricted and unrestrained love lead us astray and what i mean by this some people through their passion because they want to help the muslims they love their brothers and sisters and they feel the pain and suffering of their brothers and sisters whether it be in philistine whether it be in iraq whether it be in syria whether it be in burma whether it be in central african republic whether it be in nigeria we feel the pain but what is the solution is it for our youth to take it upon themselves and do those things غير مشروع those things which are not permissible in islam by using vehicles as weapon running down people or shooting or causing indiscriminate acts of violence and terror no islam does not call to that islam is far and free from that and in fact when the people perpetrate these types of evil wicked actions they are responding often to evil and wicked actions so the means do not justify the ends because islam calls to everything good Islam calls to everything beautiful. Islam does not call to indiscriminate and wanton acts of terror and violence. So, therefore, it is upon the Muslims and our youth in particular to not let their passion overwhelm them, but rather focus their energy if they want to help their brothers and sisters in those places then spend your wealth in wealth in doing so and if you want to help your brothers and sisters in those places then supplicate for them because that's the most the most powerful weapon is by supplication because when you are weak and oppressed in the land the best to turn to is your lord the one who created and the one who can uh help us and assist us in all of our affairs because he subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed these trials and tribulations for us and he subhanahu wa ta'ala can lift those trials and tribulations so my advice to the youth and please spread it to the youth to not be overwhelmed by your desires and not be overwhelmed with those things which are going to take you away from Allah and only cause a greater harm for your brothers and sisters because your brothers and sisters suffer when they are in minority positions in America and in the UK and in France and in Belgium and in uh Sweden and wherever they may be where they're a minority we do not want to respond with evil as we condemn the rednecks in our society those racist who attack women mostly they don't have the courage to step to this men but they attack the women and pull their hijabs off they terrorize the women with their guns and their pistols they don't have enough courage to step to us though why we condemn those cowards and those evil rednecks likewise we condemn those people who commit acts of terror and try to commit acts of terror in the name of Islam because you're slandering Islam you cause harm to the muslims you cause harm to those people you should be giving dawa to and calling to Islam and we ask Allah the almighty to forgive us of our many sins anything i said that was correct was from Allah anything i said was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad